And that's very, very sloppy stuff at the back there from Slabby Maguire once again. Fuck right off, pal. <laughs> Just so slow, Dordan on it. He gets closed down and it's... Um, it's uh, almost an opportunity for Brentford. It's gone out for a throw, but just needless pressure inviting on himself by Slabby Maguire there in his own in his own area. I don't understand what goes through his head. I don't get it. It wasn't that bad, but it's like just fucking get the ball away quick, son. You know what I mean? Oh no! It's an absolute howler by David De Gea. Fuck me! He's been blinded by the fucking low sun at the Brentford fucking community stadium or the GTEC stadium, whatever the fuck it's called. Basically, a fucking leisure centre. We've got pumped up at a fucking leisure centre. It's one 0 already. David De Gea with an absolute fucking howler. It must be a full moon tonight, bros, because that's a fucking absolute howler, dudes. Look at this. It's the sunshine's got him, I don't know, mate. I mean, it's it's very sunny there. Not that he should have the old Chris Kirkland fucking cap on the go. He's absolutely had a stinker, guys. He's got down low to his left. It's gone underneath his body. He's fucking had a nightmare, dude. Davide De Gea. I mean, there's no block from Martinez. Martinez got to get a foot in as well. He's getting across. He's scrambling across. He doesn't get the stop off. He doesn't get a block off. Look at that shit by Martinez as well. But David De Gea, it's just an absolute schoolboy piece of goalkeeping from the guy, man. Schoolboy. He knows he's got his face planted in the fucking turf, mate. He knows what a howler that was. Shocking, mate. We do not need this start, guys. Fucking hell, man. De Silva gets the goal. It's a trickling, gash, girly effort to the bottom right-hand corner. David De Gea should save it all day. And he's completely shat it. We just haven't been able to create anything so far. We'll get the ball to him. It's an absolute gash-up error at the back, guys. We gifted a chance away. And there's a foul that's great committed there by Slabo Maguire. He's fucking going to get a yellow card, thankfully. Fucking hell. I thought he was going to get sent then. Fuck off, Slabby Maguire again. Gifting an opportunity on the edge of the area there. He's been done. So he brings him down. Cynical challenge by Slabby. What? What's he doing in the first place with that piss poor pass, mate? Get off the pitch, man! No! We can't keep letting this happen every single fucking week. He's passed it to Ericsson when he's got a player closing him down. Why are we doing this, Harry Maguire, my son? You're fucking awful. And then he's just lunged in and completely found the player. Lucky to not get sent off and get a red card. Lucky to not get a fucking penalty given away from him. The guy's a fucking liability, my son. He thinks it's a good idea to play it into the feet of Ericsson, who's being quickly closed down from a player behind him. Hence why he loses the ball and they get a chance and then so Slabby Maguire then has to flap around he's not got the pace to get back so he lunges in and gives away a Oh shit, no, I don't fucking believe it, guys. And Jensen, just two seconds later, I don't even know what's happened, but the ball's in the fucking back of the net, guys. Come on now, come on now. What is going on? It's a fucking absolute crumble job implosion again by Manchester United here. I don't even know what's happened, guys. I looked up for two seconds and they fucking scored. What is happening with this United backline? It's an absolute abysmal shambles and melts. They're fucking melts, guys. Look at what's happened. Ten arms got his head in his fucking hands, mate. <sighs> David De Gea, how has this happened? David De Gea passes it back and then they... Oh, no. Oh, no, Ericsson. Ericsson's come back. What are you doing, Ericsson? Damn it. Why are we passing it to players when they're being closed down under pressure by the opposition? No. David with a bad pass out. Ericsson's got it all wrong and gifted it to Brentford. Is he still playing for fucking Brentford, this guy? Is he a fucking mole from Thomas Frank or something? What's he thinking? Oh, Zane me ass, he's got a fucking laughing pear emoji in there, Zane. Get out, mate. And it's the, it's the, it's the water break time, guys. They're taking off. They're taking on water now, guys. They're taking on water now. Finally, Slabby Maguire's found his fucking vocation in life, mate. AKA the fucking Bobby Boucher of Sheffield. Go and serve everyone up your water and sit on the fucking bench for the rest of the game, Slabby Maguire, you to smell. Corner coming in now from Brentford. <sighs> Headed to, headed, to, headed back across goal from the six yard box and not an in. I don't believe it, guys. 3 0 fucking bend me scored, guys. Bend me over because we're getting absolutely fucking penetrated, man. It's fucking Ben Mees and nodded it in, guys. It was a corner in, stuck up at the back stick and headed back across the fucking goal line. Ben Mees at the back post and bend us over and finish us 3-0. Benford in the first fucking 30 minutes of the game. And the fucking Britannia fucking, not even the Britannia, Benford fucking G-Tech gash up stadium, whatever you fucking want to call it, mate. This is an embarrassment. It's a fucking embarrassment, mate. So easy at the back, the header and Ben, ben Mees just falling it over the fucking line, son. Over the fucking line!
No, look at Ma look at Martinez there, Lissandro Martinez, but he's coming, he looks like a fucking guard and known up against Ben Mee there, he's tiny! This is the problem we're gonna face with a five foot fucking two centre back, mate. We've got Jermaine Defoe playing at centre back for fuck's sake. He's fucking tiny, mate! He's just been outdone by Ben Mee whilst Ben Mee was falling to the ground in the air because he's fucking tiny, guys! We got an umpa lumpa playing at centre back for fuck's sake, guys! Is he capable of doing it in the Premier League? I don't know. So far, it's not going too well, man. He's just been completely outclimbed there. Completely outclimbed. Fucking hell, mate. Ten Hag must feel like Willy Wonka in the fucking chocolate factory right now. This is an absolute river of shit running through Manchester United. It's an absolute river of shit. Fucking Violet Go Beauregard at centre back, captain in the side. It's ridiculous. Oh no, Brentford played another counter attack! It's gone from Gash to Gash! It's 4 0 to Brentford, guys! I don't believe what has just happened again! They've done us on the counter attack just like that, and they're 4 0 up against us in the first half, people! This is Brentford versus Manchester United, for fuck's sake, guys! Do not adjust your TV sets! That is actually the score! It's 4 0! We're getting absolutely embarrassed, penetrated, and mauled by effectively what is a fucking championship side! Look at this! How can we go from attacking on the other end, give the ball away, they hoof it up the pitch, one long ball and we're done! One long ball and we're done! This is absolute pub team defending! Where are you? Where the fuck are you as well, my son? Where are you getting back, guys? It's just abysmal stuff! God almighty, Harry Maguire's in no man's land, down the right, Diego Dallas out of position! There's a fucking scramble to get back from Luke Shaw, but because he's been t having too many free bentos pies recently, he can't fucking keep up, bud! He looks fucking hefty as fuck! We've got an unprofessional bunch of prima donna shit fucking bag, lack of organisation, melts, shouldn't be anywhere near wearing a bag for Manchester United, charlatan pricks, playing for us! 4-0! Four fucking nil against Brentford, I don't believe it, guys! Four fucking nil against Brentford! Over the top, go on Rashford, come on, come on Rashford, go on Rashford, go on Rashford, oh you're fucking absolutely trash for Gashford. Fucking hell, I'm melting over here guys, look at me, I look like fucking Harry Maguire right now guys. I'm melting, I'm sweating and melting like a big oily mess. And certainly Ten Hag, if I was Ten Hag, I would be going in there. You remember the old Fergie hairdryer treatment? Never mind the fucking hairdryer treatment. I'd be getting the old fucking Dutch lawnmower out on those twats. I'd be getting an actual lawnmower, petrol-powered lawnmower out for fuck's sake and revving that right in their fucking faces, mate. Because they deserve the biggest dressing down of any, any professional football has ever received in their fucking lives after that dreary, gastastic mess of performance. No bollocks at all. There's the final whistle, guys, and we fucking shat it against Brentford for fucking nil. Whichever way you're looking at it, it's a fucking embarrassment, mate. All the damage done in 30 minutes as well at the Brentford Community Gas Stadium. Or the GTEC Arena, whatever the fuck you want to call it. We've been done by a championship side today, essentially. Eric Ten Hag, a.k.a. the fucking Conehead, picking an absolutely awful team. Um, in all fairness, expecting different results. I don't really understand why he's done that. It's a one change from the previous game against Brighton where we were fucking awful, inviting pressure and issues in, in the lineup, I think. If you look at the likes of Luke Shaw, this guy is, just needs to put the fucking Faye Bentos tin opener down. He's lifting off those things and he's clearly carrying too much timber. He doesn't give a fuck. Drop the track. That's it. Get him on the Weight Watchers plan and fucking let him have a few months on the bench. He doesn't deserve to play. All the players in the back line. Lissandro Martinez. You've got to look at these new players, guys. He's a new player. He needs time to adapt. It's not his fault, right? He's working with a bunch of shit merchants either side of him. He's got Slavo Maguire. He's got Luke Shaw next to him. But I tell you what, Lissandro Martinez, all the defensive abilities of a fucking lemming today as well. So short. Struggled in the air. Got, got subbed off at half time. He was so shit. So, you know what I mean? Like, the, the, all the problems in the back one are still there. Diogo Dallo. Fuck me, this guy's awful, isn't he? What are we even thinking about with Diogo Dallo? What is Ten Hag thinking about selecting this back line? The back line was absolutely awful, mate. All you have to do is look at the previous game to realise that. So, no, 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 I've got no contemplation as to why he selected that same back line today. Also, you've got to say, though, that as much as Ten Hag is an awful, awful selector of the team today, and his tactics were completely non-existent and dreary, the individuals within the team, all of them, just need to hang their heads in shame. They're not fucking good enough for Manchester United, guys. We've proven it time and time again now. 
They need to all be dropped. They need to all be sold. We've seen enough of these idiots playing every single week, ruining themselves in front of our very own eyes. Marcus Gashford, he's not a Manchester United player. Sell the twat to PSG. They'd be foolish to take him. Let's get, get you know, let's be honest and talk about the rest of the midfield as well. I mean, Fred, Fred is awful. Fred is absolutely bang average. Fred is decent for, I don't know, Shakhtar Donetsk or fucking Stoke City. But is he really good enough for Manchester United? Manchester United, the greatest English club in the history of this country? No, he's not good enough for Manchester United, in my opinion. Maybe as a squad player, as a backup. But you know what? I feel for Ten Hag because, yeah, he's had to select from this absolute gash setup of melts today. But has he been helped at all by the Glazers? Has he been gift given money? Has he been given backing? Not really, no. I mean, he was allowed to sign that guard and gnome Lissandra and Martinez for 55 million euros. But other than that... They've not backed Eric Ten Hag at all to the hill, which is what they needed to do. Because clearly what Ralph Rangnick said previously was spot on that this club needs a massive overhaul and that we need 10 new signings. And that's all true from Ralph Rangnick. Unfortunately, they sacked him off as soon as he bloody said that. But what they should be doing is backing Ten Hag, giving him the players he needs. Unfortunately, he's just another fucking puppet, guys. He is another Glazer puppet. This is all that it is. And um, he seems to be making the same grave errors as a lot of the other previous managers have done, selecting the same old Gash players. He has a human tree as his captain, and he expects different results to the previous fucking managers. And I don't get it, guys. So, look, Ten Hag's only just come in. We're not going to blame Ten Hag. Let's not blame Ten Hag. Let's not blame Ten Hag. He said he just come in, yada, 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 blah, blah, blah. He's still the guy that's selecting the team, though. And he has to learn from these mistakes. He obviously didn't learn enough from that humiliation against Brighton the other day. He's had to come to the fucking G-Tech Arena and get pumped by Brentford 4-0 in order to hopefully realise that some of these players are shit. Some of these players deserve to be dropped. We need youthful youth players coming in to replace them at the very least. Or we need to go out there and sign new players. These guys are not to the standard, folks. You cannot tell me that Luke Shaw is good enough to be a Manchester United player or Diogo Dallo is sound enough defensively or Harry Maguire the fucking Finch is a good enough captain for Manchester United because he's not. Where's the ambition and the investment from the Glazers? Where are they prepared to go and spend the money to actually have some ambition to challenge with the top teams? Ralph Ragnick was right, guys. We need 10 new players. You can see week to week how much we're struggling against lesser teams. I'll go as far as to say it, guys. We might have some good players, but this is the worst team in the league. We're bottom of the league, guys, after two games. Fucking dead bottom. 20th in the fucking league. We're literally the worst team in the league right now. But I tell you something. I genuinely think we may well be one of the worst teams in the league because it's not all about the individual parts. You know, it's about the team. It's about the unity. It's about the spirit. How can those guys go in that dressing room and look each other in the face? They must be embarrassed embarrassed to have be part of this terrible team. Brentford's team's worth 55 million quid for fuck's sake, the same as that card and no Lissandro Martinez, guys.